we'll be going over executive orders that um, could call for martial law. So bear with me because I do have a point to all of this and it is really critical and urgent for you to hear. Now with that being said, executive order um, 11051, Office of an Emergency Planning authorization of executive orders into effect in times of financial crisis, economy, international tensions, okay, and also or executive order 10990, the governor to take over all seaports transportation control of highways, uh, 10997 to take over all of the gas Fuels and electric powers, including the electric grid, as well. The governor can now uh, 10999 the governor to take over all farms and food resources. Okay, uh, 10995 the governor to size and control who else but the media, mainstream media. Uh, and with that being said. Uh, 1105, the governor to take over all public storage faculties, railroads, inland waterways as well. And also 11001 to take th that the governor is uh, to take over welfare, education, and health. Now, um, Defense Production Act. 1950 present powers over all aspects of economy now this is really critical because at the time it is that we are in right now um, is letting us know that something major is happening now there's got to be two signatures um, to be able to call for martial law which would be who else but President Barack Obama of the United States and uh, to, to proclaim, you know, to proclaim it and also not just that attorney general signature on a warrant as well. Okay, so it has to be two signatures on this to call for martial law. Now, um, with that being said, there's so much that has taken place with our economy starting to crash more and more since the UK has fled from the European nation, European nation. Okay. Now we're starting to see more food shortages here in the U S alone now more than ever before. But, this executive orders, it is that I just read to you, gives them the right in any kind of events of crisis to use this by law legally. That they're able to use this. They just need two signatures, which is President Barack Obama and the general, uh, 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 the attorney general signature. That is it to call for martial law when they see that it's fit. And that is exactly where it is that we are going because we're definitely starting to see tensions rise everywhere, not just Russia and the U.S. and China and the U.S., but everywhere. Okay, um, we are starting to see that they're they're definitely um, controlling mainstream media anymore in the days it is that we are living in. Um, because it is definitely true it, it is happening it has taken place um it's just crazy and not just that now i want to touch base with something now around the world we have so many camps and prisons that is unused that does not have prisoners there i don't know if you guys know that but they don't have prisoners there whatsoever. But they're fully equipped with employees. I mean, the FEMA, FEMA employees, I might say. 
They're waiting for prisoners to be encamped there. I don't know if you guys know that, but it is actually around the whole world. I know here in the United States uh, mostly, but it is here. That your the prisons that are not being used, but they're still being employed employees there by FEMA. That is what they're getting ready to use for martial law and in camps, detention centers as well. And unmarked, I mean, well, I'm not going to say unmarked schools, but schools that um, that they're not using anymore as well. And also Walmarts and Target. But all of this stuff, you know, these places is going to be used. Um, that I, I, I have information on that um, as well. But I wanted to share with you this because this was um, critical and important that you understand you know the executive orders and where they rely at you know with the food shortages and stuff they can call for bans on certain foods um that they can stop certain foods from going through you know it might be signatures and this and that but it, it can be done all it takes is two signatures to call for martial law okay and that ain't going to be much longer you might think that it, it, it is it doesn't exist you know let's just go into the society and just let's fall with the society a delusion is what that is